So the next thing that we want to do is to figure out how to deal with this audio because uh, we're going to want to mix the sound of his voice along with the farmer's market noise. So the first thing we need to do is to open this up, which is called the track control panel. And what that does is it opens this panel up. On the far left you can see it has the waveform icon that you click and you will now see your waveforms. The next thing is this this represents the control of levels so you're going to click on this and say that we want to activate. Uh, let's start with clip gain. Notice that now on this clip we have a little uh, gain control where we can bring it up and just raise up the entire level of the track to where we want it to be and we can see the dBs of that. So if it's too loud we might bring it down, if it's too soft we'll bring it up. The other thing that we could have done is volume control. Now with volume control uh, there are several things that we would need to do and uh, one of those things has to do with the use of keyframes. And so what we want to do is with volume control, let's bring up the mixer, the audio mixer. And one of the things I want to you t one of the things I want to point out is that it's kind of a smart mixer. Like for example, it shows that there's six tracks, but you can see only highlighted four of the tracks, and that's because where we're parked on our playhead there are only four tracks. But if we move down into the place where there's six tracks, notice that they're here. Now these are grayed out because they're not selected, so watch what happens when I select them. They're then turned on. So with this mix window, one thing we could do is to control the levels of the track by raising these up. But let's just say that 1, 2, 3, and 4 might have similar levels, which they don't actually, but let's just say 3 and 4 has a similar level, and track A1 and 2 have very different levels. It looks like A2 doesn't really have a level at all. Um, if we wanted to bring up the audio on tracks 3 and 4, what we want to do is to do what's called grouping them. If we just wanted to bring up, uh, if we wanted to pair together 3 and 4, what we want to do is group the audio. So what I want to do is, and then zoom in, I, I click here to do what's called grouping the audio. So I'm grouping actually 5 and 6 together. and. I'm doing what's called grouping the audio but I, by clicking these buttons here on the mix window. And that means that I'll be controlling both A3 and 4 together if I make a change. So there's two ways to make a change to the audio levels here. One is to simply pull this up uh, and it will raise up the level of that audio. Okay. So you can see the representation of it here in the master window and also here. Um, and the other way would have been to activate uh, volume down here and then go into keyframing, which is this, and place my playhead and then hit the apostrophe key on the keyboard to create a keyframe. So you can see I'm putting various keyframes. When this is active, then I can put my... When this is active, I can use my selection tool, which turns into a pointer, and pull down at the keyframes to raise and lower the level at that. Now when this is turned off, there's no little hand icon that comes up. So this is an important controller it is called keyframe. Okay, so we have keyframes, we have the waveform, we have the pop-up windows which allow you to select
clip gain or volume and other things. And the other thing I'm pointing out here is that these are grayed out until my playhead is over them and then they become active. So there's nothing that it will do. And at this point, what I want to do is actually group these two together so that I can affect this um, clip. And the main thing I want to do is to bring that audio down. So I only have to pull one fader down and both will go because they're grouped. Because these are grouped, I only need to bring up one fader, and it's raising and lowering the audio to a certain decibel, which is negative dB or plus dB. Okay, and what we want to be doing here, since this is background audio, is listening and bringing it up according to where we want it to go. Okay, so that's just a, so a starting point on that information, looking at these. These controls here are actually equalization where you could boost the mid ranges or bring it down as a little mini equalizer. And these S or M mean track solo or track mute. So if we wanted to mute these tracks and just listen to the rest of ours, this is not officially muting them. But if we did a mix out, they would be muted. But during the editing process, we can mute things or during the mixing or sound uh, leveling, we can we can mute and or solo. So if we just wanted to solo this track, we would be listening to it only, or solo this track, for example. You can solo more than one track, and the rest become muted. When I deselect the solo, notice that the solo automatically mutes the rest of the tracks. Okay, so that's a little bit about um, placing keyframes and using the mixer uh, to adjust levels of your track.